I've now made some other changes to the revisions here or the changes within this particular project. So the window opening I've already enlarged. I've changed the handing of this door. Um, I know what door it is, but uh, you guys don't. So what I can do is you can see here I've got the linked object. If I double click, and it actually zooms in and again selects so I can see what it is. It doesn't have to be just one object. In this case here, if I go to the skylights, you can see we have four of the objects. Double click on any one of them and again it zooms and shows me exactly what they are and what the changes happen to be. If I return to the ground floor, though, what I'm going to do is show you an alternative way to make some of these changes because what I've done is change this WC fairly extensively. So I've added a window, I've changed the actual WC unit itself, I've changed the basin. So rather than select them all, uh, what I'm going to do is use uh, a more traditional method of drawing a cloud around to show what the change happens to be. So to do that we're going to use the change tool. And if I just double click on it, what it does is it pops up, we have our new number, we can add a title, change the, the details in here, we make sure we're creating a new change. We can actually place linked markers and unlinked markers if it's duplicated across various different documents. We then have a whole load of different options in here. We can choose the marker type, we can choose to place the cloud only, we can have the cloud and the marker head or we can just have the marker head. We then have options to choose what type of cloud we want to draw along with settings to choose the radius of the various different bits. We can do the same for the marker head. And then there's further elements down here that we can add auto text. But to keep it simple, all I'm going to do is just draw a rectangular cloud and I just want to include this whole area. Place a little marker and off it goes and actually shows up for me. You'll see when I select the change now within the change manager, there's no elements selected as part of this but maybe what I can do is just select these three elements and what I'll do is just add them to the change. So that means in the future if I want to come back from any other view, so we go to the foundations, go back to the ground floor, pick WC modified, pick one of the elements, double click on it and it goes and zooms and allows me to select it.